Hey, it's Renee with Cancer Size with Renee B. Coming at you from a bilateral oophorectomy, which means they took both of my ovaries out and my tubes. And look, I got my port out too. It's pretty ugly. So I'm on very light restrictions. I'm allowed to walk. And she told me I can exercise, but nothing heavier than a five pound weight to start with. And if I feel uncomfortable or feel something's wrong that I need to stop. So that's what we always talk about listening to our bodies. So we're going to just do a very light workout today. I do have one five pound weight just to offer some resistance. I'm going to do some squats and probably a couple of biceps and that's about it um, for the day. So I'm glad you guys are here to join me. So um, get back in our position here for squats. We're going to start with feet shoulder or hip width apart. Your booty goes all the way back. Okay. All your weight is in your heels and we're just going to hold the weight for extra resistance. Okay. So it'll just be kind of our warm up here because we're going slow. The whole workout will probably be like a warm up. Shoulders back, abs are in as best as they can be. Let's see how many of these I can do without hurting my incisions. <laughs> Let's do five more. Are you guys ready? Let's go five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's a good warm up. Okay, so now let's try some of our um, okay sumo ones, and uh, just hold this weight and just come up and down, straight up and down, abs in, breathing. That may be too deep for me, so slow and steady. Did go for a walk around the block yesterday, just one. And I actually made my bed today and put away my clean clothes. So that involved a little more walking. And I'm going for a walk tonight when my husband gets home. It's one of the best exercises I can do is walk. Let's just do two more here, okay? Ready? It's two. One, now hold it here if you can. And I want you to work those calves. Okay. It's my EBE pushing it for me. So shake those out. Okay. All right. So let's just do a little bit of a bicep curl. Slow and steady, knees are bent, abs are in, and you're breathing. Two more, nine, Whew. Ten, feeling that on my port where my incision's at, so I gotta be careful here. Let's do four more. This side's obviously stronger. Three, two, one. Okay, so just a few more. Okay, like this. Feet together, knees slightly bent, abs are in. Doesn't feel like much doing this five pounder after everything I put myself through, but it's what my body can handle. 
Let's end my limitations. One more after this. Now I want you to just hold it out in front of you, okay? Just hold it steady. Breathing, 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 right? Go ahead and release it. We're gonna do it one more time. Knees slightly bent, abs are in. Just above, not below, above your shoulder, not below, just hold it steady. it okay so we need to stretch out a little bit so I just kind of come across ever so gently and pull right and again and feet together and if you can lean over as much as you can towards those toes Stretching out the backs of those legs. Okay, so that's it for me today. Just like I said, act a couple more like just a little bit of a warm up. So this is day one of round two. And this is my, you know, second surgery. So, you guys, thanks for joining me. You're talking to your doctor, listening to your body. This is why we took it super slow and why we just did a very few things. That's all I can handle right now. You're hydrating with your water, and you're getting stronger. You know why? Because you are stronger. All right? I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.